When we were in the commercial break, the Dow hit session lows of 248. It's now down about 238. And one of the things weighing on the market right now is this Iranian deal. It just got a whole lot messier with critics of the deal getting a whole lot angrier. We now know that Iran gets to pick its own people to investigate potential nuclear sites. It sounds like a joke. Here's what Donald Trump had to say about it earlier. Hey, look, it's one of the worst deals I've ever seen. It's like negotiated by babies, by incompetent people. And now on top of everything else, on top of the 24 days and the long period before you get to the 24 days, on top of not getting our prisoners back, on top of all of the other things, the 25 different points, they can inspect their own site. I mean, you must be kidding. To former Israeli ambassador to the U.N., Dan Gillerman now. Uh, ambassador, did you believe it? When you first heard that Iran would be allowed to use their own inspectors to inspect their own sites? No, David, I, I certainly did not believe it. And uh, when Donald Trump says you must be kidding, I mean, this is no kid stuff and this is not something we should kid ourselves about. You know, you're Fox Business News. You cover business and you interview and cover business executives and CEOs every day. I assure you that none of the CEOs you cover or you report on would sign off on a deal like that. Just imagine somebody negotiating to buy a company and relying on that company to provide him with uh, information about the inventory or about their profit and loss. No due diligence, no uh, outside accounting firm. Just take their word for it. You know, this is as if you're asking Bernie Madoff to, you know, say, you, you just tell us, you know, give us uh, an account of your investments right. and your portfolio. Or asking Charles Manson to, to provide his own DNA and, and bring it to you. I mean, and, I think and the Char you know, this I think is the far Charlie worse. Manson because analogies is the best one. But uh, I'm, I'm just as, as, as terrible as this is. This is just one side deal that was made that the United States signed off on. It wasn't made by the United States, but the U.S. knew about it and they signed off on it. What other side deals do you think there are? Well, this is a very good question. I think one of the problems with this very, very bad deal is that the deal itself is very bad. But then you discover every day that there are side deals, side letters, side agreements, which are hidden from everybody. Instead of being very transparent and accountable, this is a deal which is not only full of holes, but full of secrets. And at the end of the day, you're dealing with the world's most horrible perpetrator, financer, harborer, and executor of terror, which as we speak is terrorizing the world, and you're trusting them to bring you samples, you're trusting them to inspect their own facilities. Yeah. This is a joke. It's, it would be a joke if it wasn't so tragic, but it is tragic. Now, you used, to be, you used to be at the United Nations. You know how, how crazy the United Nations is. Uh, I, I have family members who used to work there, so I know the insides of it. It's an, it. It can be a little bit of a nuthouse. But I have never seen, as crazy as the UN is, I've never seen them sign off on a deal where you allow uh, inspectors to be from the country that is being inspected by a world body. Is there any precedent for this? I don't think there's any precedent, and you're right about the UN. The UN is a citadel of hypocrisy and a, uh, you know, a very, very crazy place. But I assure you that even the Secretary General of the UN, Ban Ki-moon, who is a Korean, a South Korean, would never sign on on a deal like that with North Korea. You yeah. ask him whether he would allow these North Koreans to be responsible for examining their own sites. And he will, he's a decent and very honest man, and he will tell you this is something which he would never imagine happening. So this is crazy, this is dangerous, this is lethal, and I, I'm very, very worried by the naivete and the amateurism which are displayed and discovered every day about this deal, which in itself is very bad yeah. and is becoming worse every day we discover new things about Ambassador it. Ambassador Dan Gillerman, thank you very much for joining us. Appreciate it. Well, many fear